curse mark thou. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst rend me aid? Is that thy proposal? Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service, and good hunting to thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-wolven warrior. By the name of Blythe, I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Thou needst not indulge them unduly, but they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service after all. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I come and pay should if it were up to me, I Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Iji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience let alone service to Lady Rani was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let us together. Time, friend. Blythe. Have you forgotten? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. 
I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well and see if I can't. Don't keep me waiting, eh? to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon enter, and it will be- I have high look- Good to see you. Apologies, mate, but I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nokron right above me, but I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways, to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Leave this place to me. Took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. 
Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. I've no time for idle chit. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the Academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. I've no time for it. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your time. Are we understood? I have enough. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Well, well. Salavus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement and so too would Rani's destiny. You wish to continue very well. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, you. Please, it's pathetic, I... Journey to the capital, laying down. The two fingers will deny you. may be out. Is that portion what I think it is? Bloody Salavis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or, oh, would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Well, I won't force you. If you want to do that dolly botherer's bidding, that's up to you. Not that I could fathom why you'd want to. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. 
a dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. You. Please. Leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Father... Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him, to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust him father to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now, I've lost it. <laughs> Is that Ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. In this ash, it reminds me... In this ash, it reminds me of... Well, I took you for no matter to lay out your own.
here to learn a battle. Well.
again. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. Cheers for that. Right. 